to welcome to my vegan kitchen. So this is real funny. Today, guess what we're making? We're making vegan fried fish. Y'all need to cut it out. If you want to see how I do it, stick with me because I'm going to do it now. So yes, we are making vegan fried fish. Guys, I'm laughing and I'm sorry. If you've been watching my channel, you know that there's some, some different recipes that are different. And for one, the vegan hot dog that we make from carrots. Obviously that, if you've ever tried it, I know a lot of you did, it was delicious, right? So now I got a new recipe for you. I have vegan fried fish. And when I tell you this tastes just like fried fish, you're gonna be really surprised. So this is what we're starting with. We're starting with a can of banana blossom. And I know a lot of you have never heard of banana blossoms. Because I'm from Jamaica, it's, it's abundant in the Caribbean, it's abundant in Asia. So, you know, those cultures, we're pretty much familiar with it. But I had to bring this recipe to you guys just to give you another option of what you can eat being plant-based. All right, so let's bust this can open so y'all can see what this look like because I know y'all on the edge of your seats. Like, what the hell is Michelle come up with this time? Yeah, but it's good. So you've tried my other recipes. It's really good. All right, so let me show you what this looks like. Let me um, pour off the water. All right, so let's open up this can. And bana banana blossoms is exactly what it sounds like. It's banana blossom. It's the blossoms from a banana tree. All right, so let's dump this out. Ooh, that was dumb. That was real dumb. All right, let's do this again. I need to focus. I need to focus. I got so wrapped up in the banana blossoms. Why did I pour it out on the countertop, uh, on the cutting board? That's so stupid. Here we go. All right. This is what banana blossoms look like. It's a banana blossoms. This is cut in half. It's a banana blossom just cut in half. They're pretty, right? They're so cute. This is the thing. Because they have layers, that's what gives them that fish-like texture. And it doesn't have any flavor. So again, that's how us vegans or plant-based people come up with these recipes. A lot of these plants don't have a strong flavor. So you can season them to be whatever it is that you desire. Because guess what? Seasoning is what the, makes the food taste like what you remember. It's not the actual meat that you're eating. So it's not the fish flesh. It's not the beef flesh, it's not the chicken flesh. It is the seasoning that gives the food the taste that we remember. Okay, guys, this is a really, really easy recipe, right? It's not a lot of complicated anything to do this. We're just gonna season up the banana blossoms and we're just gonna use obey. Now, I'm gonna give you another option. Some people like to also season using seaweed. So you can use like the seaweed sheets, just cut them up and kind of mix them with your seasoning and you're gonna season your banana blossoms with the obey and the um, seaweed. Or what you can do, if you have a furikake, I hope I'm saying it right this time, you can use that also. Farakeki has the uh, seaweeds already in it and some seasoning salt, so you could use that also. What that does is give it more of a fishy flavor. I really don't even do this step, but you can do whatever you want. I will put it in the ingredients, and again, the ingredients will be listed below. But I'll put it in the ingredients. You can use it if you have it. If you don't, it's not a big deal. Once you have this obey, it's going to taste like fish, so don't worry about it. All right, so let's season up this. Uh, banana blossoms. Now I want to make sure that I get in between all these like little layers So I just lay it out on the board and I just go to town. I just start seasoning. I get in between I get on top. I get on the backs of it I kind of just lift the layers and just kind of get in between so that when the um, <laughs> I was gonna say so when the fish is fry <laughs> Who we not frying fish right? We frying Banana blossoms. I don't know why I think this is just so funny. I know. It's all right. It's all right. It's my dry humor. I can't help it. I can't help it. But just like the hot dogs, I'm telling you, them hot dogs went viral. People just was mad that I used carrots to make a hot dog. But 
I mean, if it tastes good and it's not hurting you, why not? Why not do it? It's nothing to be upset about. There's a lot more crazy things happening in the world to worry about being mad about a, a hot dog or a carrot becoming a hot dog. All right, so let me, and it looks like I have six of them, seven maybe. All right, so they're all seasoned. Like I said, I got in between, you know, kind of get it in between. It don't have to be too seasoned, but just make sure that your banana balsam is seasoned because we want it to taste like, you know, fried fish. So now that I have this all seasoned up, I'm just gonna kind of move this out of the way and just put it on the side. That just kind of gives it a, gives it a chance to get really, really seasoned and let the, you know, the um, Old Bay kind of marinate with the banana blossom to give it some flavor because now we're gonna make the batter. Now, you know I keep my recipe simple. I've seen this recipe done and they have a wet batter, dry batter. We ain't doing all that because it, it doesn't even make sense. You don't need to do it. We're just gonna get some regular old tempura uh, flour. You could get that right in any grocery store, okay? And follow the directions on the package. I think it's like one cup of um, tempura batter to three fourths of cold water. Three fourths cup water. I got that in there. All right, let me just pour my water. Really cold water. You know how tempura is. The water has to be either ice cold or you could add ice cubes to it. So you get that tempura batter really mixed together. Let's get it nice and smooth. So now this is when I like to add the furikake or if there's any more seasoning that I need to add, I like to add it to the batter because I just think the batter needs to be seasoned. Sometimes it just doesn't have any flavor if it's not seasoned. So I add my furikake at that time, blend it all in, and then this is my fish fry batter right here. I have my wok going and you can use a skillet like a regular flat skillet if you like but if you guys been watching you know a wok has become my favorite thing so i got it on medium heat we're going to pour some oil in here i'm using grapeseed oil and again i'll have all the ingredients listed below so don't worry about it you will have plenty of times to look it over and be able to get the right items that you need for this recipe this is super simple come on in let me show you here's my tempura batter batter did i say that right here's my tempura batter and here is my banana blossom it's been marinated in the old bay seasoning it has a nice little handle right here i'm just gonna dip it in my tempura batter look how easy that is just dip it right in there get it all nice and covered and then we're just gonna drop it in the hot oil you know how i do it nice and simple I don't have time to be in the kitchen playing around. So let's get these recipes in here. And who would? Who would want to be in the kitchen forever trying to cook up some recipes? Like I know for myself, when I see a recipe that's just too complicated or has too many ingredients, I'm not interested anymore. I just got one side fried. Let's flip it over. That's what it looks like. Let's try the other side. That's what it looks like. So while the, <laughs> the vegan fish is frying, the banana blossom, let's make some french fries, because what's fish without chips? So let me wash these and get these ready to go. so you guys can see look at that it looks pretty much like fish doesn't it it looks like fried fish all right i'm gonna take a piece and i also made some french fries you saw that in between the cuts i will have that french fry recipe for you on another video definitely because there are some tricks that i use to my french fries to kind of cut the starch down a little bit but let me open this up so you guys can see come in and take a look this is what the banana blossom look like. Once you open it up, it looks like fish. Look inside there. That just looks like regular fried fish. Okay, let me take a bite so you guys can see what it tastes like. This is absolutely crazy. You know, every time I make this, I'm always in doubt, right? It's like, this can't be 
this time it's not going to taste like fish, but it does every single time. And again, it's all in the seasoning. So you use your Old Bay, it's going to give it that familiar fishy, fish fry type of taste. The texture is perfect. As you can see, I used a tempura batter. But you could, I mean, you could make your normal batter like if you were frying fish, but I would just use a tempura batter. It's so much easy. It makes it nice and crispy outside. You get the tenderness inside, just like flaky fish. It tastes really good. I did throw some french fries with that. This is going to be a good dinner, guys. This is really good. Go ahead and try this recipe. Super simple, as you can see. Easy to make, and it tastes really good. Again, thank you, guys. Oh, still chewing for joining me in my vegan kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe guys and tap on that bell so you can get the reminders whenever I post new videos. Again, I'm so grateful to have you guys in my kitchen and go try this fish fry recipe. You're gonna love it. Bye guys.